Hello internet, just going to do a quick review of a new little light that I just discovered that I'm super stoked about. They're these Chauvet wedge tries and it's a little teeny LED triangular shaped uh, light <laughs> that'll fit inside truss. Um, so you just use a clamp and then the lighting just kind of hangs out inside the middle of the truss. The thing that I think is so cool about it is that you don't have to you can just leave them in the truss even after you break it down. So it's not something that you have, it's not like an extra step when you get to a gig. They're just already there and uh, you know, no extra, no extra work needed, which is fantastic. Um, they're really bright. Uh, anytime you buy like either a Chauvet light or an American DJ light or just a, a well-known brand, they're going to be well-made, they're going to be super bright, and they are going to be better than like a cheaper Chinese knockoff, but it just depends on what your budget is. I haven't seen any kind of cheap Chinese knockoff versions of these lights yet. I don't think that they've uh, well, basically copied them yet. Whereas our moving heads are the cheaper Chinese version instead of like a Chauvet one. Because the Chauvet ones are crazy expensive for a light this big. They're like better part of a grand. And we got both of these lights for a grand including the, the road case. So you, you just you can't hate on that. Um, anyway, sorry I'm on a tangent. The wedge tries are really cool. They're RGB, red, green, and blue. And if you turn them all on, you can get white. They're DMXable with a couple different modes, three or eight. I just did the three mode, it's all I needed. Just the control of those three, and then I can program in DMXs. I use NTX DMXs, any sort of fade or strobe or any other kind of move. They're really impactful and surprisingly uh, makes a huge difference. Even on our truss where the we're almost like just lighting up our crappy cabling. It's really effective. So I'm gonna go kill the light so you can kind of see what it looks like uh, in the dark. So right now I don't have the lights at full brightness. They're at probably about a quarter brightness. And just creates a really cool ambiance and extra lights is extra lights you don't have to set up at a gig. And I, I think anytime you can work smarter and not harder, that's, that's a good thing. Let me uh, go grab a couple different settings so you can see what they look like a little brighter. There they are, red, and that's at more full brightness. Um, I'm going to go grab them and turn them off. So that's without, and then with. So it really makes a huge difference. I don't even know if actually if it comes across in the video as much of a difference as it actually makes, but when they're full on, it's, it's amazing. And at about a hundred bucks a light, they're not crazy expensive. You know, we got the three for 300 bucks plus the clamps, which were just cheap. I think they're um, just, I can't remember what company they're, they're American DJ, just the cheapest plastic American DJ clamps and, you know, all in a couple extra DMX cables. You know, it's probably about 340 bucks for the three lights. I think that's pretty, pretty sweet. So I definitely recommend them. Um, whether you're using, you can also use them as uplighting and they make a battery mod, uh, a battery uh, powered version that you can charge up ahead of time, especially if you're a, a DJ, uh, to use them as uplighting, uh, you know, they, they work great for that. Um, so thanks for watching. I highly recommend, uh, the wedge try.